Well, hello everyone, welcome back. Today is May 1st, 2023, and we have come to Disney Springs because if you know anything about Disney Springs, the first of the month is when they get all of their new new snacks and treats and stuff. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Usually they have like a, a cookie. Yeah. They maybe have like a burger at Deluxe. Mm -hmm. But my phone like exploded this morning. Apparently Everglades says new things. Apparently Gideon says new things. Apparently there's tons of new merchandise. I mean, I'm, I'm truly, honestly, genuinely shooken with shock today with all these announcements. So we're gonna look around here. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna try some things out. Also a little bit later, I'm actually going to dinner with John Self himself yeah. over at Tirolina. So I think we have a pretty fun night ahead of us. I'm pretty excited. And honestly, I will say welcoming us in a very, very kind way. The 100th anniversary box is right here. I think if anything, this is kind of a true festive beginning to our day here today, so that's good. Because it is getting a little bit later in the day and Gideon's does have a tendency to run out of like their special or new cookies, I think Gideon's will be our first stop. And what is it? It's like a white chocolate caramel macadamia nut cookie or for, something for like that. For once, this is a shocking day. Like truly there's all these sweets, but it's even more shocking. I don't really want to go to Gideon's today. I yeah. really don't care about this cookie. It's no. like a white chocolate cookie. I hate white chocolate, so this is bringing the bad into one. But Matt likes white chocolate. I do. So and he's making us go. I'm excited. I think uh, I'm going to get at least one. Maybe I'll get something else, too. If we get in there, like, really quick, like lightning fast, maybe it'll be a hot cookie hour still. Yeah, but they're, like, That would be good. All I want is my donut. Well, you'll have to wait a little bit longer. So the moment we've all been waiting for, Matt got his cookie. Yeah, I have the white chocolate caramel macadamia nut cookie here. Matt's not normally a huge fan of Gideon, so it's gonna be interesting to see. Yeah, I'll say like, brings him the, look, the caramel is kind of like burned on it almost, oh. like oozing off of it almost. Oh. Yeah, caramelized, I guess. Well, it is caramel, yeah. but we'll give it a little bite. I think this works really well together. Normally the white chocolate by itself, I think it's too much, but you get the caramel, you get the saltiness, you get the white chocolate. Not too much flavor from the macadamia nuts, but you get a nice texture from it. I think it needs that crunch. So overall, this is a really good cookie. I think one of my favorites from Gideon's, if not my favorite. Wow. It's it's really good. It's enjoyable. And then you also got like the returning Culver, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna so see. Get the menu here to see the exact name. Apparently it's like, uh, they had it last time. They the salted, salted caramel cold brew. It's a sweet caramel, gently balanced, balanced by a single drop of Morning Joe's Tears. Wow. Oh. So some of Morning Joe's Tears are in here. I don't know if that's Morning Joe or who that is, but no, it's he's on my cup, yeah. so I'm gonna give it a try. It is good. I think the caramel is a little bit too much there. I wish I had more of a salty component to kind of tame the caramel down a little bit. I also don't really get a whole lot of co um, coffee flavor. It's probably watered down by Morning Joe's Tears. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That's what it tastes like to me. But not a bad drink. I don't know if I would get it again, um, but it's decent. And then the one other thing we got from Gideon's this morning is the cookies and cream cake. You know, we wanted to try. a new month, a new goo. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I could never leave Gideon's without getting a cookie, but today I did it. I left and go. I got a cake instead. It's a big cake. Yeah, right? it looks it good. Like seven bucks. Yeah, I think I so. Feel like you could share that with. Look at this people. though. Like you have Oreo on top. Yeah, it's cookies and cream. Yeah. I don't know about this. I've never tried this before, so we're gonna give it a quick try here. This is perfect. The cookies and cream cookie is my favorite cookie, and this is 100% representing the cookie. It's not too sweet. It's not too chocolatey. It's a great balance. I love it. It's great. I'm always surprised. I'm always one who says, oh, the cookies are better than the cakes. But this, this is probably the best cake I've had here. This is fantastic. Wow, there you go. Well, I have to say, I think we did find the good enjoyment 
here at Disney Springs today. The good enjoyment was brought. The Gideons was brought to Goo's and use alike. Yeah. Are you ready to move on, Goo? So I will say that was, I mean, we've been, we just got the good enjoyment. It's only been like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like we're, we're in good shape here. We have plenty of more things ahead of us. So yeah, I think that was great. That was amazing. That being said, there's plenty of like really festive new things happening around here. And one of the things that's happening, actually Joffrey's right here, apparently is getting new coffee. And as you guys know, as much as I hate coffee, I think we're gonna go give it a, give it a quick look here. They have the, um, they have the new resort blend. Yeah, so yeah. if you guys know the 50th anniversary blend they had, they kept it around, but they renamed it. Now it's called the resort blend. So I guess if you still like your 50th anniversary blend, there you go. But that's pretty fun. Look. It smells good. Huh? It does smell very good. You have some Easter coffee. Wow. So you have Easter coffee. This is actually the new resort blend. Looks like you also have like a little mermaid blend, which is kind of interesting. Oh wow, for the new movie. Yeah, yeah, so I, I guess they're just making new and new blends every day, this is crazy. This looks good, I would get some of this for our machine. It's caramel mudslide. Oh, it's like um, K-cups. Yeah, yeah, caramel yeah. and dark chocolate with hints of vanilla and Jamaican rum. Oh, that's fun. Look at this. Banana. Oh, banana, wow. Banana Brown coffee. Sugar and banana, wow. So I'm not a huge coffee drinker. But I'm, I'm strangely intrigued by the more more festive flavors Joffrey's keeps making here. This is crazy, this is really fun. And this is really cool too, because they actually have coffees like based off of different restaurants in Disney World. So there's Trattoria Al Forno, oh, California, Grill. California Grill, Kona Cafe, Tusker House, Sanaha. Sanaha's a great restaurant. Yeah, Victorian so, Alberts. Oh, Victorian Alberts. But that being said, I'm like truly shook in with shock. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm always following like Joffrey's and all these things on Instagram. And they're always popping up on my Instagram, but like, I never go in there, which is crazy. So mm -hmm. there's really so many fun things to do here at Disney Springs. I think we're off to a good start here, which is great. You know, it seems like there's a little bit of a mix up here. I don't know what's going on it here. It seems to me, I think I know what the case is here. Yeah. They seem to be playing a game of musical kiosks. Because if you look over here, this used, this used to be the wonderful marshmallow thing. It is now corksicle. So you would say to yourself, huh, Maybe they got rid of the marshmallow place. No, they moved the marshmallow place where the pop art gallery used to be. So then you might say to yourself, huh, maybe they got rid of the art pop gallery. No, they moved to the art pop gallery where the hat kiosk used to be. And I don't know, we're still looking for the hat <laughs> kiosk. So we'll see if we find it, but this is neat. They have some yeah. interesting things over here at the Corksicle thing. We'll go look at them. They have some like, Disney stuff that you don't really see other places. But like Disney's been partnering with Corksicle. So you're like seeing more and more of these things. Look at that. Look, you can put your bottle in it. Your and there's some pockets in, in the back There's too. pockets? Yeah. And they even have a collection of different Disney ones here. You have some Marvel ones in the bottom. Look at this one. Oh, that's uh, the castle. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's kind of fun. Hmm. Oh, the castle. Well, as thrilling as it was, we've actually made it over here to the marketplace of Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. I'm getting excited. I heard there's a lot of new merchandise in World of Disney, so. Well, don't get too excited, because before we head in there, you're gonna need to cough up your wallet so you don't buy any useless junk in there. What? Come on, hand it over. My wallet? There we go. What? Thank you. Let's go. Do I get it back? Whenever, whenever we're done shopping. Look at this thing. A giant marshmallow and they have like a it's we'll see this guy again later in the um confectionery actually yeah because they have like a treat designed after this i guess well uh, apparently this smells it smells like s'mores i don't know so i, I think it for 60 dollars you I can don't know buy if this it smells like s'mores or not i don't know it's pretty fun though you could use it as like a bed i guess it's so that big. there you go but look at these they're like making these munchlings out of everything oh wow you have keychains key chains now Ornaments, ornaments. Wow. water bottles. There's everything. I don't know. A, a planter. A <laughs> munchling planter. Probably about $25. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. And they do also have some 100th anniversary medallions in here. You can see they have Hulk, Captain America. I don't know why they have Marvel in here. Like, I don't know. It was I, weird because over at the Pin Traders, mm -hmm. I remember they have Marvel too. Oh, wow. So I guess Disney Springs is your place for Marvel. I guess so. There you go. Yeah. But. Unfortunately, you can't buy one of these mm -hmm. if you're using so your, if you have cash. Yeah, you can buy one if you have cash, and they're six dollars each. But if you're using a card, you have to buy all four. We For ran into that problem. Twenty bucks. Cut. Yeah. So I was I was kind of sad. Yeah. Disappointed, but that's fine. I'm glad they're doing these. I think these medallions look great. But I think the biggest look at this thing. 
We're gonna get this. Actually, we'll get this probably in July. Yeah. This is the gift if you join D23 as a gold member. You get, we already got the certificate, but they're gonna send us the gift later on. And you get to choose your card this year. Yeah, you get to yeah. choose which card you get. Mm -hmm. Well, here's this collection again. And here's another thing that I haven't seen. I don't know if they had this before. Every single day, I'm telling you, every yeah. day they add a new thing to this Toy Story what this collection. Is. This is a outdoor travel blanket. Oh. There you go, I guess so. So I guess, yeah, it's like a tote bag. You yeah, can use yeah, it as a you blanket, which is great. There's a blanket in there. I do like all these though. This is yeah. really fun. You have the ketchup and all that. My biggest grievance is they have a spirit jersey. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is over there. Over there, it's the summer collection. It's a summer collection mm -hmm. and they have a spirit jersey. Try to, I, I like, like this shirt though, this shirt's fun. I think I'm gonna get that. How much is it? It's $36.99, 36. a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. That's fun. I will say, I was gonna check, oh, you do have some money, so what? I can buy the shirt. No, give me back my wallet. Hey. This is brand new. Oh, I need this. $70, though. These, I saw these debuted in Disneyland. Wow. They light up. Yeah. These umbrellas are lightsabers, if you look. They look like lightsabers, and they light up. This is incredible. I'd like to see it open, but I don't want to open it. This is incredible for $70. I'm sure discount supply. I wonder if it would, like, survive when, like, we is it an actual... It. Maybe we should. We should get them. We should get the blue and the red one and fight with them. That would be fun. It would be an expensive fight. Yeah, it's expensive, but worth it. And then also here, I guess, for the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie, they have, like, this sweatshirt. I guess this is, like, what they wear. Because if you see there, they're, like, wearing that kind of thing. Oh, wow. That's, that's kind of fun. Kind of like a sweatshirt. You can have, like, your normal shirt, I guess, for the movie. It's a soft fabric. And they actually have some new plushes here, which are kind of fun. You, you want a Cosmo the Space Dog plush? I don't know. It's kind of cool. That is fun. I do feel like the plushes here are really cool, so... There you go. So I will say it is $26.99. They also have the Baby Rocket for $26 as well. So as far as plushes, these are good quality. That's pretty fun. I don't think I've ever seen the spirit jersey before. It's like a Black Panther spirit yeah, jersey. Yeah, it has like the necklace that the suit comes out of. That's kind of fun. Yeah. And then look if you have Wakanda Forever. Oh, okay. There you go. That's fun. I feel like spirit jerseys are all now $80. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. What? No, no. I think I bought myself an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, Matt ended up buying the lightsaber umbrella. Yeah, I gotta figure out how it, like... We should test it here. Yeah, let's see. Oh, because it is a windy day. Yeah, it is a and windy I day. I wanna see how it holds up against the wind. Disney umbrellas are notorious. They're infamous mm -hmm. for being terrible. Mm -hmm. So, let's we'll see how this looks. This looks pretty fun. I know it was what, $80, right? It was, yes. But you do $70, and you do get discounts, yeah, too. Yeah. So, discounts do apply. Um... Oh. oh, there you go. Oh, and there's like a button you press. I think I have to do something. Oh, that's nice. It closes and opens easily. It glides oh, nice. nicely. I there's think I'm supposed to do after. something with this. All right, so I was trying to figure out if there was a pull tab or something on this to make it light up. It turns out you actually have to unscrew this tiny screw <laughs> and then take this cap off and then take the battery cartridge out. And there are three AAA batteries, each individually plastic wrapped. <laughs> and so you have to unwrap them, put it all back together, and then it will work. Um, I see, I'm kind of glad that they do it that way, so I know that when I get home, it's going to work. Like, there's not going to be any issue with the batteries. And it's still kind of cool. We'll get it set up once we get home. Maybe we'll get pictures of it or something. Yeah, if we have any pictures, we'll put it in here. Yeah, but there you go. I'll say, this is a very, like, toy. Oh, here's the wind. Oh, here's the wind. Oh. I'll say this is a really cool toy, mm -hmm. and if I was on vacation and I got this and there yeah. was no screwdriver, I would be very, very yeah, bad it enjoyment. Would be kind of frustrating. But I can see why. I don't know. I, I wish they sold screwdrivers here at Disney yeah. Springs, but there you go. But I think our next stop is actually over here at Goofy's Candy Company. I've heard a lot of the different stores have gotten the Powerline candies back, which, if you don't know, the Powerline candies are actually from Disneyland. They were supposed to be Disneyland exclusive, but apparently we're getting them back, which is crazy. So I think we're gonna head and we're gonna see what happens. And we'll see if anything else is new in here too. Immediately coming in too. There's hundred decorations everywhere. Yeah, this is crazy. Candy Cotton now. candy. For a while we had the 50th. Rice crispy treats. Yeah. And also another thing that's actually happening, all the Mickey bars are now in 100th anniversary wrappers, which is kind of hard to see. It's kind of crumbled. Come on, wanna help me? There you go, there's the 100. That's really fun, I will say. 
That was really fun to have it for the 50th, so it's good to have something new here. Oh, here's what we found in the um, world of Disney. So this is like, you can see we saw the munchling of that. This, I don't really it know what. It, it's just like a giant s'more, I think. I think it's completely covered in chocolate, yeah. too. So oh, I guess wow. if you want like a giant s'more. I, I like so. that they're doing more like actual food yeah, yeah. relating to the munchlings. That is kind of funny. I, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to pay $60 for the plush and then buy that too. Yeah. But this is $15. It's a little small, but yeah. it's very heavy. I feel like there's definitely some, mm -hmm. some good chocolate in here, which is great. And then there's another thing. Here we go. The yeah. Power Lines oh. Sour Lime Oh, taffy. that's great. Here. You're, you're covering Power Lime himself. There you go. There he, there, is. There he is. Hugging a lime. Uh, let's see if we'll focus. So if you guys don't know, this is in reference of Power Line from Goofy Movie. And they had these candies in the movie, yeah. didn't they? Or yeah. No, no, no. What happened oh, not was in the movie? these were in the queue for Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway uh, in Disneyland. Uh, so they have like a concession stand and they have those. Mm. So like these are actual like props. Yeah, yeah. Those are great. Mm -hmm. Also the Goofy pops. Yeah, they have the golly pops, golly pops yeah. which are really fun too. These are actually fun mm -hmm. from Toontown as well, mm -hmm. which if you can see. I think it's not better on the other side. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Let's say different goofy yeah. things. Different goofy things. Dosh and oh boy. oh boy. I don't know what the other one says. Something goofy, <laughs> I'm sure. And the last, finally, Disneyland exclusive Toontown thing we've gotten. These are the Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck, McDuck coins. chocolate coins. We have some of these at home, yeah. I think. So maybe we'll try so them. And... The thing is, they don't have, they're just normal coins. They yeah, just yeah. Wrapper, yeah. So I don't know if they're that special. Yeah, they're all right. We did decide to buy some of the power lines so we could try them out. See how they are. Let me These see are if great. I can... So they're only two ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I they could. They, bit more. Yeah. they could have charged five dollars for this thing, but yeah, it kind of looks would... like a lime laffy taffy. Yeah, it's kind of hard to open, just like a lime laffy taffy. There we go. All right, I got it. <laughs> All right, let's see. It tastes like if you got a glass of water and squeezed some lime juice in it, and then drink <laughs> the glass of water. That's what it tastes like. It's very, very limey. The texture is similar to a Laffy Taffy, which I like, but the flavor is just overwhelmingly try it. lime. Oh, I like it. You like it? Well, you can have it. It tastes like cherry limeade. No, it doesn't. It's very good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Whatever. Well, I will say, Matt, although you did not like this, I know a place we can go to guarantee excellence and deliciousness. What's that? You know what that is? No. Apparently Everglaze is debuting a new donut today. He's, he's stricken with shock. Yeah. So actually this new donut is actually in honor of the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. It's called the Superhero Donut. So I don't know, maybe you think that'll be good? I don't like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. I've never, I didn't like the first movie. Yeah. I didn't watch the second you one. You like the ride though. I like the ride, yeah. so maybe the donut will be. Yeah themed after the ride instead of the <laughs> movie. Maybe it'll give me the good enjoyment. So I think we'll go to Everglaze, we'll try our new donut, and we'll go from there. Also, a very little known fact, over here at Morimoto Street Food, they actually sometimes have pog juice. And I know it's it's kind of more refreshing pog juice. It's not very sweet, mm -hmm. but I will say it's kind of refreshing on a good day. So there you go, a nice little drink along the way, which is great. That's actually really nice, it's good. I forgot how refreshing it was. Look at this new shirt they have a Disney style. Oh, that's really cool. Look at goofy all over it. They also have like a dress kind of of it. I like the lock. Are those shorts? Too? Oh, wow. Well, we should go in here. Let's look at this stuff. This is here at the Disney style. So yeah, yeah. We're going to go in. So here's the shirt, and it's a very light, like, um, athletic feel to it. Oh, this is really cool. And look cool. at these shorts. Look, they have goofy on them. I think that's the only theming really on them, other than that they're pretty plain. But they're kind of like soft, almost yeah. like a bathing suit type mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. How much are these? I feel like these, this one's $100. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like a name brand. Oh, okay. 78. 78 dollars. Yeah. You go. So I'm assuming this is probably some sort of brand yeah, that I'm yeah. not familiar with. Mm -hmm. That's fun though. I feel like you really don't find too many shorts around Disney property. Also look at this Lion King collection. Look at this. <laughs> sure, this is a spear oh, jersey. No, oh, here it is. Okay, it's like, look. It's got Puma on it. There you go. <laughs> That's an all of them. They also have this like um, hoodie with this kind of really embroidered cool. logo on it. They always get all the hoodies like in the middle of summer. Yeah. It's getting mad. I like it though. Yeah, it is cool. So you, you got can, the door. There it is. Wow. Ooh. I kind of like it. That is fun. Yeah. So you can add six dollars more mm -hmm. and you get a reusable cup with your lemonade. Oh, did you do it? I did not. No. That's all right. I resisted the useless junk. There you go. But that's fun. And here's another look at the superhero donut. You can see it says pow and zap, and it has a little bomb on it. Ooh. You think it's gonna be good goop? 
I don't know. I feel like it's going to be an explosion. It's action packed. It's going to be an explosion of yeah. sugar is probably what it is. <laughs> it's just a lot of a lot of yeah. sugar is what it looks like to me. We'll give it a try. And then this is the blue coconut lemonade. Ooh. Called the Cool Wave. Is it good? Um, it's pretty good. Here, let try it again. It's very strong. It's very sweet. It's decent. It's just a very, very coconutty, very, very... I don't know if it's a lemonade. Maybe the lemonade's too sweet. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. It's good, though. It's not bad. Matt's doing the kind work of here cutting up our donut. I'm trying to do it before the squirrel gets to it. Yeah, there's, there's, a, a, there's a squirrel. Yeah, a mad from. squirrel coming after <laughs> us, so we don't want to repeat of Epcot. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's filled. It's just purely a donut with yeah, a bunch yeah. of sugar on top. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's very sweet. It looks fun. I'm kind of hesitant to eat this thing because I feel like it's just... Uh, sugar, yeah. <laughs> it's a very, yeah, it's just sugar. The donut itself is nice. It's good quality. It's just there's a lot going on. It's a glazed donut, and then it has more icing on top, and then icing on top of that, and then a little sugary thing on top of that, so... Everglaze donut's always good. Mm -hmm. But that being said, they get very sweet sometimes. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the mood for something sweet, this is a fun one for sure. I think after all that sweet that we've had pretty much all day today, both <laughs> Goo and I, I think, are in the mood for some real foods. So Goo's going to be heading over to Terralina. I'll be heading off and doing my own thing, probably finding some food. Maybe I'll go to homecoming without Goo. What? Yeah. But it's fun. Terralina, we were invited by John Self to yeah. come get a good meal. That being said, we're going to compare it to other like Italian restaurants, theme park food. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this should be great. I don't, I don't think I've been there in like four years. So this yeah. should be great. So that being said, I think we're going to go. We're going to check in. We're going to get ready. And I think we'll enjoy a good meal there. There you go. So we are finally seated here and I feel like the anticipation is truly building. And if that's not enough, we have a vase at the table and it looks like we have some Italian on there too. So I feel like they're really setting the mood here with a big menu. I, I feel like this is gonna be a pretty good meal. I'm pretty excited. That being said, I feel like the menu here is pretty much what you would expect for an Italian restaurant. You have pastas, you have like chicken parmesan, and then you also have a variety of pizzas down here. I'm honestly not sure what I'm gonna get, but I'm very intrigued. They actually have a chicken parmesan sandwich. But the options are definitely endless here. We'll see how this turns out. Also looking here, they actually have an antipasti tower, which I, I don't think we're brave enough to go on that festivity but it is $44, so I don't know. As far as the meal here goes, it seems like they do have a lot of different options, a lot of different possibilities. Like any other good restaurant, you do have a good bread service, and this bread service looks actually pretty unique. As you can see, the bread kind of looks like it's formed as if they put it in the oven, and then you also have a lot of butter here too, so I feel like, if anything, we're starting off right. There you go. John Self is actually here with me, and he, he cut the bread masterfully. You can see there's butter on it. And I will say we're off to a good start. The party's starting here, the food is coming. Uh, what more could you want? This is great. And honestly, before we get too far into the meal, I did actually order a strawberry basil refresher, which is actually like their, I guess their top non-alcoholic specialty. And as you can see here, it is definitely strawberry looking. You have the basil floating in there. If anything, it looks very, very festive here. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. All right, we'll try it out. I will say, as far as the description, it does say it has strawberry, basil, and lemonade, so I guess those are your three ingredients. That being said, the lemonade really is not prevalent here. It's more like a strawberry drink. It definitely is doing that refresher element to it too, so I'm happy, refreshing. There you go. We did also get an appetizer here, and these are mozzarella rice balls? Yeah, mozzarella okay. stuffed rice balls. So you have mozzarella and rice in there with a good sauce. So I'm kind so. of visualizing an arancini with a lot more yeah. mozzarella inside. Well, there we go. We'll try it out. Hopefully this is a good start to our meal. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. There's the inside. You kind of see some rice. You kind of see some cheese. I don't know. I'm pretty hopeful for these. I feel like they're going to be pretty, pretty simple, but we'll see how they are. Much. So I will say this this is definitely kind of your cheesy rice ball type thing. I, I feel like it's definitely kind of an upgrade from your RNG. It's very cheesy. That being said, it's just more of a simpler protein meal, more of a simpler start. The sauce is pretty decent. So I feel like we're starting off pretty decent. I feel like we're starting off with a 
exciting note here, which is pretty fun. So, but that being said, I was I was pretty adventurous here today. I actually left my entree selection up to my server, and my server was kind enough to tell that the order choke chicken apparently is ground bricking. Apparently, it's gonna blow me away. Apparently, it's gonna bring the good enjoyment. So that being said, I ordered that. We're, we're just anticipating it right now. So hopefully we'll come here soon. Hopefully we'll have a good good meal here, but that should be pretty fun. If anything, we're here. We have our drink. We have the bread. You have the mozzarella thing. Uh, what, what more could you want? This is great. At this point, since our entrees are in, like the expectations are here. The anticipation's building up. So we'll let you guys know when everything comes, but until then, this should be pretty fun. This is almost a strategy. They see this right under this fine picture. And this guy, he, he's just walking around. It looks like a train back there. And his food is so good that he stopped to eat his food, to drink his wine, to have a good, good enjoyment here today. So if anything, we'll see if this is kind of a picture of what we're gonna get here tonight. Uh, I guess it's kind of a mystery, but we'll, we'll see. All right, so the entrees did arrive here and we actually got the artichoke chicken, as I said. It is indeed crispy chicken with mashed potatoes, asparagus, and a lemon cream sauce. So I feel like if anything, this looks really good. I feel like it looks like a pretty decent meal. I will say the lasagna looks pretty decent. You're getting a lot of the meat sauce there. There's a sausage pizza here, which looks pretty fun. And I will say other than the pickles on that, on that giant platter, this is the chicken parmesan. No, 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 no. <laughs> Leave that away. Other than that, the chicken parmesan sandwich looks pretty decent. It's a big portion. I feel like if anything, we're in for a pretty festive meal here today. So I think we're we're gonna do pretty good. So I will say the chicken definitely has a good crispiness to it. The sauce is pretty good. It's more of a creamier sauce. I do wish the sauce had more of like a spice to it. I think it would have been a lot better. But that being said, you are definitely getting a very, very decently portioned meal. And I feel like if anything, you are getting a pretty decent meal here today. If anything, we got this, we got our meal. We're like that guy up there. Nice guy. That's fine. I don't hey know. Everybody, I don't know what's going on here. I don't but know Drew either. Has pickles in his in his fork. On so, his fork. What's going on? So I feel like if anything, we, we need to add some some sort of excitement here. So. No, I'm yeah. not doing it. So I'm, I'm gonna be mad. And refuse to do it. Do it too. Drew is foolish enough to do it. That's not me. I already had pickles today. Did you? At home coming. Okay. Well, you you get your pass for now. But I have to They're torture myself. Oh. Sure. I'm dropping them. Here we goes. <laughs> yep, and this is the one back to you. Oh. His reaction to the food is, is always interesting. That's not necessarily bad. It's not good. <laughs> okay. That is better than really, really bad pickles. You mean like the Epcot pickles or whatever you had that one time? Any pickles? Yeah. That's not the worst pickle I've yeah. had before. That, that's not horrible. You should try it. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be like, yeah. it's going to be a lesser version of the homecoming pickle. Well. Which for you is good. No, it's not. See? Oh, he's loving it. Look, F.A. says, I wish I would have known about this before. I've made this many years without eating these pickles. It's not bad. Um, Compared to the homecoming pickle, using the goo scale. Yeah. These are twos. Twos. They're not even threes. Okay. They're a two on a scale of the one to five goose. Okay. Whereas the homecoming pickle is, even for those of you who don't like pickles, yeah. it's like a 3.2. Okay. What, what about like your average pickle? Yeah. You get like one of those pickles in a bag. No, those, those what are What would you rate that? Those, yeah. Those a negative, negative 15? 12. Okay, yeah. negative 12. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Glad we're on the same page. Oh. There we go. But that being said, since we finally completed a meal, I think we're going to actually go meet up with Matt, see if we end up doing anything else. But overall, I think it was a pretty fun experience. I'm glad I came out here. This is a restaurant I really have not been to in like four years. So if anything, we got to check it out again. We got to show it to you guys again, well, which I think was great. And there he is. Yeah, here I am. Yeah. So actually, you went over to Homecoming, right? I did, yeah. How was it? Good? I had the chicken and donuts. Yeah. And I gotta say, I haven't had the chicken and donuts since they changed it, since they changed the donuts. Yeah, the donuts are not ever glazed donuts. They apparently. used to be like yeah. a savory kind of donut yeah. with powdered sugar on it. Yeah. Now they're a glazed donut. Yeah. I still liked it, but I think I liked it better before. 
Oh, I'll, there you go. Yeah, they they used to give you like the syrup to dip it in and all that, and I like that better, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, if, if anything, I got a simple meal over here, it was good. I got like chicken, which was good, so I got a good little review in here, which I think was a lot of fun. From what I remember from this restaurant, the last time I was here, I think the way I would sum it up, if you want food from your Italian grandmother's kitchen, then I would recommend going to your Italian grandmother's kitchen. But if you just want a simple good meal that everyone's yeah. gonna enjoy, I think this will do the like, job. For sure, I think this is probably one of the best, like. Italian restaurants in the theme park area. Yeah. For sure, it was pretty good. But that being said, the good enjoyment has been brought. So yeah. there you go. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along on this little short adventure here today. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. And um, yeah, thanks so much for joining us everyone. It's been great. But as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. Uh, Tiralina. There you go. And you're you. And we both wish a good to each and every one of you. Hopefully I'll have a great night. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys later.